Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and um, I thought it was important for you to um, know about um, what's been happening with driving license that's been incorrectly revoked and that kind of stuff. Um, the information is from February 2018, so it is a year old, but I think it's very relevant because it, it's telling us what is going on behind the scenes, um, what we may not know about otherwise. Now, the source is Justice Now. Um, the link is www.globaljustice.org.uk. came out in February 2018. I'm going to have to read it because I can't, well, I don't want to rely on uh, my memory or try to translate it in a way and I get it wrong. So it's hard enough for me to be reading it anyway, so I thought I would do it this way. So please bear with me. Um, hundreds of people have been refused bank accounts and had their British driving licences incorrectly revoked because of rudimentary data errors, according to the UK's immigration watchdog, looking into how the Home Office is pursuing illegal immigrants. David Bolt, the Independent Chief Inspector of Borders and Immigration, reported on the failures in his 66-page inspection of the hostile environment for illegal immigrants that Theresa May promised when introduced the Immigration Act 2014. Bolt reported that due to a mixture of human error and data quality, 259 individuals had their driving licenses wrongfully revoked in 2015 as they were falsely flagged as being illegal immigrants. The hostile measures directed towards those wrongfully affected were in total deployed to revoke 9,732 licenses. Now, um, I'm not going to read every paragraph. Um, I'm going to read this because it's important. Um, neither the Home Office nor CFAS holds any data for the number of current account applications refused under Section 40 of the 2014 Act, since banks, banks and building societies are not required to inform the Home Office, CFAS or the participating agency when they refuse to open a, a current account for a disqualified person. Um, according to Bolt, a sample of 169 case files of those refused current bank accounts show that 10% of them should not have been listed as disqualified persons on immigration grounds, despite the list being updated weekly. But that just shows you, you know, they have a weekly update and they still get it wrong. Um, the Home Office main case work in an operational database, case information database in bracket CID, is used throughout the department to record personal details of all foreign nationals who pass through the immigration system. This information CID holds is shared with the driver and vehicle licensing agency in brackets DVLA, as well as with the Fraud Prevention Service, CFAS. The Home Office relies on common law to share data with DVLA to prevent illegal residents from gaining driving licenses and on the Serious Crime Act 2007 to share data with CFAS which does fraud prevention work with banks to stop such residents holding bank accounts. This has been going on since 2005 when the Home Office first embedded an officer at DVLA to assist with immigration status checks on new license applications. The Home Office began sharing data on illegal immigrants with CFAS in 2011, allowing banks and building societies carrying out anti-fraud checks on prospective customers to receive matches against individuals with no right to be in the UK. The Immigration Act 2016 will seek to update these policies, expanding on the deport first, appeal later powers, as well as tightening access to housing, driving licensing and bank accounts. It will also introduce a new criminal offence of illegal working, meaning the Home Office can seize wages as proceeds of crime for the very first time. Now, since this came out, um, the appeal first Deport first and appeal later has been debunked. It's, it, they're not allowed to do that. So that is one change that's happened since this came out. Um, 
So I don't know what they're going to do about that now. But, yeah, they can seize your wages. That's not good. Um, the Home Office spokesperson said, as, as the Home Secretary announced earlier this month, we will be introducing measures that will mean that banks will have to do regular checks to ensure that they are not providing banking services to illegal migrants. Furthermore, we are introducing a new power to search for and seize UK driving licences held by those living in the UK unlawfully. The measures discussed in the Independent Chief Inspector's report should not be seen in isolation, but as part of the wider action we are taking that has made it harder than ever before for illegal migrants to live in the country, the spokesperson continued. So yeah, and they're getting a brand new system that's supposed to be more effective because the one they were using by Accenture is, is collapsed, I think, or it's not effective. So I thought I'd let you know that. Um, hopefully um, there's not too many illegal immigrants now that they've either got rid of them or that those who were illegal have now managed to formalise their application and get naturalised or whatever. But this I thought I should let you know. Important information. So, and that's all for now. Bye-bye.